playing more of aggressive uh, composition here with the Val and the Raymond, so double gauntlets, and then of course the Raymond Axe and the uh, Sword from really, really even so far, even with an early Gimp attempt. Like, uh, it's so quick that in twos, like, if it doesn't work out, it can definitely be a pretty even game nonetheless, because you do so much damage, and you uh, take so much damage attempting those big edge guards. It's really Pawlowski being sent out. His teammate going out there as well. Pawlowski getting that Nair is going to give him the option to get back up on stage. There we go. So now Pavelski, uh, yeah, finally losing that stock is Sarme Pavelski in a 1v1 off stage, uh -oh, though. Uh oh, uh oh. Very bad quick to turn spot. into a 2v1. Very bad situation. But somehow gets the win. Gets the nair, goes with the ground. He's not done. Gets another one there anyway. Pavelski doesn't care if he's <laughs> losing resources off stage. We'll get sent out. Weapon throws going to stop his momentum. Big recovery coming from Pavelski. Big recovery coming from Sarme Ooh. coming back up on stage. Oh no. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, is he going to be able to get around? Pavalski chased him the whole way, made sure he got that extra damage, but is going to catch a Sare. Kind of helpless in helping their teammate there, and the 2v1 situation arises, but a big side stick is going to even up the stock out. Now Sarme with a lead, Ray, uh, Ray, Ray Zox is trying to find something here. Goes off with a Sare from the Gauntlet, but we're going to see Ray Zox fight back with a little spear combo. There's Sarme is going to catch him, catches the reed, sends him up to the sky, and out of the way... Sarme going off stage with a big down sig, reached up the Sayer, can't find it. But that gravity cable side sig, gonna find a recovery at the end of it. Pavelski gonna find a recovery as well, and they are gonna go ahead and put Pavelski gonna send him back over on stage. Now we're gonna see, oh my goodness, just absolutely swinging off stage, trying to catch that damage. Nice to finish up with Pavelski, gonna go ahead and confirm that stock. And all these stocks are pretty tied up except for Solarson now being sent out. Because Pavelski is gonna look to get that early edge card, interrupting that big six army, looking to just create some problems with that uh, classic projectile sig from Raymond is that Ooh. is a clean edge guard for the blue team. The weapon toss down is going to force same spacing that Pavelski saw Sarme fall to, but then mixes in to cover the low reversal opportunity with a down air. Razox playing very, very smart offstage with the axe, but only so much can be done there as you're at about orange percent. So the, uh, the world's your oyster if you're the blue team here. You're just looking for really any open up as they find a double nice side catch. air there to close out the game. It's just all business, nothing crazy needed. Mm -hmm. um, but the extra defense definitely isn't going to hurt. So, um, hopefully he knows something. Oh, no, so far, we're seeing the spear go straight to work. Nair recovery, but they caught him up at the top and ended that little run of Solarson losing a find. It got reversal just a little bit. Razox able to get a little damage in there. Sarme coming up. Reversal, a down sig off the side of the stage. Looking for another one. He catches that one. And Razox going to be sent down. Double pop up here. <laughs> Raise the oxbow down the side. There we go. The Dares are going to get it done. Sayer going to finish it up. Can't find a whole lot. That Sayer is going to confirm uh, Pawlowski being taken up off the top. Nice gravity cancel down Sig. Looking for some follow up. Solarson going to shut it down. Razox going down an arm and putting the feet on him, baby. Going to go ahead and take that stock. That was super clean. Tapping it in with the classic unarmed gravity cancel down light into ground pound and uh, the double spear action. Uh, basically, you could do anything you want. Any of those moves will confirm into Kaya Sigs. Yeah, Solarson has been lights out with the spear so far. Speaking of which, able to get that six to convert, and that's going to be... Oh, no. What a, what a save. The, Clean stuff. There's no way that everybody made it back up on the stage after that. That was absolutely crazy. Babowski fighting unarmed, trying to get something going here. Okay, that, that'll work. A little unarmed knockout. That Sayer is going to catch. Razox going to catch the stock off the end of it, but he is going to fall as well. Solarson trying to work com combo coming out. Balski trying to find his way back down. Neutral light from Solarson. Good, a little. Um, oh Ooh. my god. What a conversion. <laughs> Bad angle for Solarson. Pavelski without a weapon, though, couldn't go for that nair reversal we've been seeing. Razox with the axe center stage, able to catch a landing with that side air. Now everyone on their last stock. Solarson closing out Pavelski's last stock with that sig. And now the 2v1 for Sarme looking down the barrel of a game five. I don't, you know, it, it's rough. I feel like uh, this two's team is just oh too goodness. solid. Oh! Uh, zero to death. Red yeah, <laughs> zero to can't get anything started on the Val. Why did he go down there? I don't know. I'm gonna be no the a I'm gonna be the angry commentator man and be like, what was he doing? Beautiful. Um, right back down to neutral here on the center of Apocalypse. 
Sarve reaching a bit of that axe, trying to get something going. Rack up some good damage. Nice a side sig. Gonna go ahead and take the stock off of Razox. Think about early stock, I must admit. They are um, definitely being patient, bringing this back. Sarme getting a little, little, a little crazy off stage there. Um, able to go ahead and touch the side of the stage. Nice Sayer gonna go ahead and take the Razox off. And that is gonna finish up in blue team. Comes back down to st uh, stage with uh, Adair. And this is back and forth here, but red team, the lights are starting to dim. This edge guard from blue team, down six gonna get it done. Recovery's gonna finish it up. And Pawlowski. Okay, but of course, he can also get himself into trouble when he goes for those things. And that's that's one of the reasons we love Pavelski. That's what makes him such a unique. This is an interesting team comp that we see coming out from Akno and Knees. Akno, kind of like his most historic moment was a GC NSYNC back towards the stage at BCX right. with Kaya. And he's coming in here with Tesca, who okay. has no weapon crossover with Kaya whatsoever. And they may need to, may, maybe not, but might need to uh, take this legend choice back there of Sarmay being at such high damage where you're like, oh, Pavelski's looking really juicy right now. Let me just 2v1 real quick for a second while you take forever to come back. As I speak, though, blue team. Now it's kind of split off and far 1v1s for just a moment, as I say it. See if they can get Agno off the top. That should do it. Yes, it does. That sword recovery. Sarme went for a D-Light recovery on the sword before, but the high ceiling on Demon Island made it a little bit more difficult to KO there. A little bit of team damage come out. That could be dangerous. Oh, wow. Maybe it was oh, just the reposition. Here comes Wait. Sarme! You fell for the classic blunder, Sparky. What wow. was that? How did Brett team end up? The least healthy on the board. Pavelski's right. close. And, and that's just like that. Shiro. Yeah, that's game one going over two. He only took 434 damage, which is not a lot to then be knocked out. Ooh, the, there's overlap in damage on the red team the blue team's doing right nice. now. But he also needs to do more damage. He only did 284, Ooh, we and we see a stocks. double KO. He was running out of everything. He threw out a neutral air, which gives you a chase dodge on hit. Yeah. So he could chase dodge up, giving him more movement. There's a KO there. Now knees on final stock, and Ooh, they get the full team wipe well. here to keep this one still. Being a little bit more of the aggressor off stage, just again, knowing Sarme will have his back right there. Red team playing defense now, trying to recover back towards the stage. No resources left. It's going to be a stock trade right here from both sides. But what happens to red team now? And we do he, see he, double he, gauntlets. So D yeah, he had to make sure right? to not go for the in light. That would have been the really easy thing to do. He probably would have gone for the gravity cancel in light if he was playing gotcha. with another weapon on his team. They needed to press those offstage engagements every time they had the chance to do it. Even boots offstage, of course, very strong as well. They do get the full team wipe here. Knees is going to fall better. Of course, things could immediately run into a wall here, but so far his damage output's been fantastic. His survivability's been fantastic. Pavelski, even though they got act, that was a nice side signature coming out from knees there to clean that one up quickly. Sarme almost got taken off the top. Okay. Oh, Sarme piecing okay. up the Lacno off the right side there. Knees, help you mans, let's go. Pavelski almost had the sword ground pound follow up. I don't know if he meant to land it on the wall or if he meant to do it just off the right. edge so that he could kick on nice. to the other teammate here. Good off stage, here we go. Their follow-ups have been great. Knees picked up two people. Akno is there to follow up. Now they have the team okay, combo. Okay, let's see it. And they Bring have it, it set up. All right, we got one on the board, Sparky. I'm seeing some signs of life here. All right, so it is his 14th highest leveled legend. He has a level 45 Tesca. So plenty <laughs> okay. of time on the Tesca. We might be seeing some of that coming out this game, but it was actually Knees who got the KO. He sent over to the left side. Akno coming back oh. in, a little bit of team damage. Yeah. Oh, that's going to lead to the KO. I make and it a two. full team wipe. Or do I go for the 2v1 man advantage? He almost that, got that hit. Yeah. Great <laughs> punish from Pavelski, using his side light to get in just from below. Okay, yeah, knees desperate weapon throw right there to maybe try to break up the action, but you go for the unarmed recovery, but the down heavy is crazy. I mean, even someone like Bakonko goes for the gravity cancel side heavy in the other oh. direction. Okay, that was rough. Yeah, Ak Akno just playing it right back, starving weapons, really, really good stuff right there. The 2v1 not gonna happen just yet. Okay, here oh. we go, Akno again. So safe, no the way! ground pound leads to that reversal. That is such bad news there, Sparky. This might have sealed it. There with the right time. Why'd you go for a side air and not a recovery? Oh my gosh, this is, this is so doable. You're so right. Okay, the KO off the top, but I mean, look at the health bars at the end right there, Sparky. Agency and control over your opponent is specifically the gauntlets. I'm looking at the gauntlet Nair because you can take them, throw them back towards your opponent. You don't have the active input that Scythe has. Too, too much. Here we I go. Mean, Unarmed here, just beezing them up in the alleyway. This is, this is kind of scary for Red Team. I mean, yeah. we're looking at a potential six stock here, especially if Kixay gets another slap here over on the edge. Six stock denied, five stock denied as they get the full team wipe. 
Oh, Pavelski almost had the neutral air. He still had Wait the dodge minute. to get up and reset his jumps. Okay, yeah, and it's a reset there from Fridasol and Kixay as well. Wow, great coverage there from Kixay. Fridasol following it up right back there. Yep, and Sarmay just knows. A fantastic pun at that site right there. Delivers onto Pavelski. Big damage, but broken up by the item toss as well. He was able to pick up the side light side air, then throw that weapon out when there was a weapon spawn. A little bit of damage, but mostly like a momentum interruption of the red team as Sarmay picks up the double <laughs> KO here. <laughs> Wow, okay, Sarme, small little pickup right there. Gonna jump to get out, and the Pogo comes through as well for a little bit of added space. Oh, Sarme coming in with that one! Unreal stock from yep. Kixay. Pabelski coming in. The signature makes contact. Sarme in the orange. Okay, Kixay running back to try to protect Fridasol for just a little bit longer. The stock will be dropped right there, but on a fresh one. Oh no, that is a... Sparky, wait a He's second. He's trying to make it Hang happen. On. Okay, okay. Surely this is it, right? It has to be. Now you saw him dodge over to the wall. I didn't actually see if he made contact with the wall. Them both deterred from that right side stage. Wow. Fry did a great job giving Kixay plenty of room to get back once he hit that neutral light on both members of red. Oh, Pavelski just kind of followed him down there. Okay, the save. And there's no. the save, <laughs> the weapon it toss. It got scary for a second. Great awareness from Sarme to keep that stock alive, knowing Pavelski was just going to run out of resources in just a moment. Uh, this Sarme, is so scary. What? what? This what is, is so happening? scary. Stop. Oh, the save from Fry. All right, who's going to fall? I, someone has to, how right? How many? Is, how long have they been on stage, Sparky? What is happening? Okay. How did Kixay die there? What? Fry and Kixay have been very strong on the edge in some of their previous sets. So they're confident in this great neutral air grab to interrupt that ground pound from Sarme. Scoops him right out. of. You talked about Pavelski going for a little bit of a reach right there. The GC isn't going to amount to much, but Sarme always has the back. Pavelski reaching for the ground pound right there. Kixay looking for the GC on the down signature, I believe. Pavelski's done, right? Okay, here's the save. And Sarme turning around. They end up getting oh, Kixay no. and knocking him out. Sparky, I don't even know what just happened there, but that's going to be a wrap on this game. It looks like it. The end of the game is what's oh. happening. <laughs> and Pavelski's down there. He got bored. Some alive, really dark red here means just a light breeze might do it in just a moment. Pavelski looking for all of it, though. Not going to get it. Wow, yeah, and Sarme, once again, Pavelski gets to overextend on these getting hit in the process. 100%, 100%, okay. A little bit of nooch coming through right here. Pavelski looking for the neutral air, Big I dunk. believe, as well. Pavelski finding the stock. A little bit of team damage back and forth. First, the recovery from Pavelski onto Sarme, then Sarme onto Pavelski. Do they get the full team wipe here? Now that's important. What we just saw is the scythe kind of has a what we call the grab property. Actually do the work on your teammate. Work's being done here by Kixay, who is the healthiest in this game, but it's still relatively even between these teams. Crucial dodge from Kixay allows them to hang on. Weapon toss is going off the left side a little bit longer. Fridasol Yo. now. Side strong gonna slide off right there. Oh. The ground pound! Oh no, both off stage right here. No resources left from either. Chase on jump, Fry follows down. There's the ground pound. Pavelski in the 1v2. Kicks a little bit slow on that side air. The weapon toss goes 45 degrees down. They'd rather have maintained stage control. They grab the weapon, the recovery from Kixe, which is why you didn't just see him crash and burn after he threw that away. Pavelski, slick movement on that platform right there. Really good stuff. Picks up the scythe as well, while Sarme holds off on the left side. We're playing a pincer out, inside out right here. Sarme picks up one. Pavelski looking for the second. There it is. Nice. From both members of the blue team, while his teammate spawns back in. There we see the grab property coming through again, making contact and actually doing the real damage and the real force. Over to Kixay. Okay, Kixay want to stay alive right here, okay. It's going to be a little bit of a desynced respawn from both players. Can they pick up a quick 2v1? No. Oh, and Pavelski's probably going to get this one as well. Fry's still stuck on the orb. Oh, no. Sparky, blue team on the right oh. side right here. Pavelski looking for the ground power. That was huge. Is that an SD? That was a down air from the orb as well, and now he's back over under the scythe. The perfect serving okay. tool to Sarme. serve Sarme up to Kixay. Sarme unarmed right now. Weapon toss going to come through. It's off stage right here. Crazy recovery to thread the needle, but no weapons to be found. No stock either right here. Desperate recovery coming through. Got to be just one more. Fry looks for everything. I think this might be over soon, but wait. Oh, no, that was so slow. No. Wait, Sparky. Oh, he touched Hang on. The one Hang on. One opening decides it all right here in this critical game five. The wall slip is going to come through. Sarme playing the edge so perfectly right here. Here comes the opening. 
Oh, he was looking for the sideline reset. The side oh and that does it! Sarme takes it! Sarme and Pavelski win the best of five and guarantee themselves a top three. Yeah. I think it's fine. I think either one's like, it just depends on what his follow-up wants to be, whether he wants to get a respawn. <laughs> I, think, I think that's what we've learned just now. They did not have a good time making it back to the stage. Viandli finally goes Choice. down, but Blaze... Because you have to worry about Lukaku. You want to go off stage, you get edge guarded by Axe anyway. And don't get me started on Spear Neutral Air. What the heck is that move? My goodness. The stage. Ooh, no. Very well-placed recovery there. Anti-air on the down light. Uh, disarming Pavelski just for a moment. And that down stick actually just takes out his teammate. Blaze, uh, yeah, a little too patient. Patiently waiting for the next game, actually, right? Can get up, get himself a cup of water or something. I don't know. Tea and now, in the middle of your winner's finals. It is time to make a clip Godly Blaze because this is not a suit mountable game. Godly with the weapon toss into the downer as well was able to have any presence on the stage oh, this game. And when they when they try to get it back, it's ending up in friendly fire, and then Godly and Blaze are both reacting to the damage they're doing there. Okay, Blaze finally goes down, okay. gets the side okay. air in a good delay. I thought he was going to mistime that for a second. And not going to be allowed to go for the edge guard with Blaze. Excellent denial, putting Pavelski off stage one more Ooh. time, but then gets the stage spike. That's going to be the stop. Now, okay. can you close on Godly? Can you get the stun? Godly is going deep, and you know what? You're the stock up. Blue team can make this happen. Sarume wanted the follow-up. Side oh. in the wrong direction and... Dodge the Pavelski. weapon throw? Does he have Pavelski. the dodge to make it back? He does it! He jumps too soon and then gravity cancels side because it hit. What? I mean... Yeah, I, I, it, it's Pavelski, you know? That's, that's unfortunate. This is what happens. He did dodge the weapon throw really, really well. This, he's oh, not... and Blaze, Blaze wanted that GC recovery. neutralize so badly. Sarume, can you make it back on? Yes, you can. You get that recovery. You get that chase dodge. Blaze, okay. Oh, yeah. okay, that's just going to be the stock right off the top. They give him a five stock to two lead. Oof. This is, uh, this is about... This was one of the two possible <laughs> they, 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 Well, they could have won or they could have lost. On opposite sides of the stage, you get pogoed. That's going to be oh. one of them going down sometime soon. That's the weapon no to close out the dodge. And the GC down strong. Wow. Yeah, I mean... Thing. Okay, instead of the Valhatori, giving up some of the movement Two, speed there, one, being able to have the reliability of double gauntlets. Back up the stage, and Coco just trying to cover these landings with Axe sidelines. So Pavelski punches his way right through with that side signature. Can they get the double KO here on the edge guard? Goes all the way down, and Sarme with some friendly fire. Best team for getting the boost, edge guard. Pavelski. I don't know what I'll just say, just hit them. First time watching Pavelski? Because no. <laughs> I'm over here just being like, ah, oh, he got reversal off stage. But we're in the elimination. On takes advantage of all of that chaos, gets back on, looking for the side light recovery, that time only just seeing the dodge. So okay. I'm going to start mixing up with waiting. I feel like I'm seeing a lot of immediate. Nice job interrupting, catches him with the down, the, the, the nair into the gravity cancel side of recovery. That's uh -oh. so good there. Moonier goes. Boxes of it do end up actually connecting now. Coco gets that side in, oh. and that's going to be Pavelski off stage. But Sarume almost had something going, but now you're getting 2v1. That's going to be the combo. Coco and Munir taking game one with confidence. Why? You can boot himself on a toast. Yeah, <laughs> that, is, that is exactly correct. And so now Sarume, well, not that end sig. The gauntlet end sig is still exactly the same. So that and was amazing. Pavelski set it up with the ground pound. That was incredible. Yeah. That is one stock. What's happening Ooh. off stage at the moment? Pavelski is out there, comes back on with the sider, does get Munir off stage and just disengaged for the moment. And that is exactly what Sarume took full advantage of. Said, hey, nice. thanks, bro. Got a full bow combo out. Got a full stock off now. Red team positions like 20 times. That was, you know, ridiculous. Yeah, but then the neutral signature comes in from Munir there. Side light, gravity cancel, D light, Sarah, and that's no. going to be, what, five total KOs for Munir there, and that anguish, no. Coco ends up nairing Munir instead. Munir is Pavelski on the right side of the stage. Weapon throw gets the jump. Pavelski, I think he's just done for. Coco gets the edge guard on the other side of the oh, stage. But that was incredible. Such a good way nice. to get back on. And Pavelski not D light recovery, unarmed. Then takes him off the top of the stage after what was an impressive stock for Pavelski. And he still turns turns it into a knockout onto Coco after all that damage was done. Bless Axe Recovery. That move is lovely. It just takes care of everything for you. <laughs> it does take care of everything, doesn't it? it takes care of your recovery. It takes they do, it. and then they're going to have to think about what happens when Munir eventually switches to Taros. <laughs> right? Like, they have to get that far. They haven't even got through his Aang. Ground Pound comes through, though, and now it's a 1v2 against Coco. All right, a game four looks almost inevitable, unless Coco plays the best 1v2 of his life, which so far, Pavelski... Almost doesn't make it back. Gravity Ooh. cancel down heavy takes one stock, but they have to get through another one. 
as long as Pavelski is playing back. That's what you want right now. When you have that much of a deficit and you could theoretically get KO to everything, you want to be playing back. You don't want to be necessarily in front oh. of your teammate. Uh -oh. Coco slipping in there, pinpointing the weak spot <laughs> and saying, hey, I can take out the stock right now. Salome, you have to clean this up. You were responsible for your teammate. You were responsible for protecting them. Uh, so now you have to avenge Imagine them. being responsible for Pavelski, though. <laughs> he, did, he did play back, like you said. Uh -oh. oh, Coco dominating. One oh, more down no. air here. I thought that was going to be it. Sarme goes in for the neutral signature. Sarah hits him. Coco demolishes the red team. Secures the 3-0. 668 damage. That 2v1 looked like it was in favor for Olgrim. That, that was brutal.